Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining you an another solution for critical section problem. And this solution is called as TSL, that is test and set lock. The previous one was using the lock variable. And in this pre in the previous solution using the lock variable, we could see that the very first condition that is a mutual exclusion was not getting satisfied. Now, what about in this solution? The solution is called as test and set lock. It is a hardware mechanism and look at the code okay look here if you compare this with the test and the, compare the test and lock with the lock variable what is the main difference you are observing is these two lines of code were there in the entry section then you had the critical and you had the exit section similarly here also we need to have three sections but in the entry section you have only this particular line of instruction and next is what critical section will always be there and in the exit section this is the line of code now how to understand this particular three lines of code and we have to check here whether mutual exclusion can be satisfied or not for that i have written the assembly code here see to ex before i explain about all these things i just wanted to tell compare this particular solution here what we have done is see why we were not able to achieve the mutual exclusion in the previous uh, solution was when we tried preempting here while lock not equal to zero immediately once a process test this okay it was preempted at this point at this point it was preempted and when it start when it resumes it was immediately starting this instruction so when it is starting this instruction meanwhile the other pro process would have already entered into the critical section and this previous process when it starts from this instruction definitely it will also enter into the critical section so that was the biggest problem there and in order to overcome this problem better to merge this combine these two instructions you combine these two instructions and write here in one while uh, statement only combining here in a sense is uh, you come out with a particular instruction which is carrying out the features of these two what are the features if log is not equal if log is not equal to zero that means if it is equal to zero you set the log equal to one now test the value of log and set Test and set, let it happen in one go. Test and set, let it happen in one go. The previous one, first testing and then before it is trying to lock, what was happening? It, there were chances of preemption. Now, what we will do is better test and set, let us do it together. Let me explain you about this particular test, set and lock solution to solve a critical section problem. So, in very simple manner to understand what you can do is this while loop while test dot set actually this test dot set function is written over here it is in the assembly language these lines of instructions are meant here okay what is that you are carrying out you are carrying out this particular instruction first test set and lock test set and lock has to be executed by a process which enters into the critical section but now before I say one one instruction getting executed by each process now we can always tell there are two subroutines one is enter region and another is the leave region. So a process which is trying to enter into the critical section will call this subroutine enter region at the time of leaving the critical section it will call this subroutine which is called as the leave region. So what are the lines of code in the enter region subroutine what are the lines of code in the leave region uh, su subroutine that you people should know. Now to understand that start with the initial value as we used to do lock is initially set to 0 let us assume that now there is a critical section okay this one process wants to enter let us take randomly any process p0 wants to enter into the critical section what it will do now this while loop i am just putting an arrow direction here these are the different so it will call the subroutine enter region in that what is happening is tsl register comma lock what exactly is the meaning of this instruction whatever is the lock variable value that value should be what saved into the this particular variable this particular register and set the value for lock equal to and change the value for the lock equal to 1. So here this particular instruction what exactly it means is you copy the lock whatever is the initial value of lock is there or whatever is the current value of lock copy to a register and set lock to 1. So that particular thing you need to do here. Now lock is equal to 0 you have to what copy lock to register so we will do that in the register we will copy this lock fine and 
TSL also means what? After you copy, you set this value of log to 1. So, we will set the value for log to 1. So, these two things are done by this instruction. Now, compare the register contents with what? With 0. So, you have to compare what? The register contents are 0 only. You are comparing with 0. Compare the register contents with 0. Then check whether equal to 0 or not equal to 0. See, what is the next instruction? Jump on not equal to 0. Where that particular control will get transferred? Look here, the next instruction is jump, jump on not equal to 0. Not equal to 0, the control will come back over here. In this case, what has happened? Equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, then it will enter into the critical section. So, P0 will enter into the critical section. At this point of time, we need to check whether P1 can also enter into the critical section. This is what we have to uh, look here, mutual exclusion properties achieved. Now, P1 will start in, uh, executing this lines of instruction. So, we are, uh, we are trying to uh, execute this first assembly line uh, code for P1. So, P1 which is interested, it will what? P1 process, the value for the lock is what it is copied to the register. What is the current value for lock for P1? It is copied into the register. So, current value of lock is 1, which is copied here to the register for process P1. Register value becomes 1. Okay. Then, you have to compare the register contents with, register contents are 1 only, with 0. This is what is the second line. CMP register comma 0. Compare the register contents with 0 not equal to 0, if, if it is not equal to 0, then you are going to, the control will go, uh, will go back to this instruction, the very first one. That means, it starts executing once again the TSL, it starts testing the value. It is what? Continuously carrying out this. That is why we call this solution is also what? Mutual exclusion with busy waiting. It is busy waiting until the other process comes out. So, this is how we can say that this test and set lock instruction is what satisfying the mutual exclusion condition. And normally the leave region you know very well at the time of leaving it will set the value that means whatever was the previous value for lock it will set it to 0. Store a 0 in the lock and return to the caller. So, this will happen in the leave region. Whatever is here this instruction lock equal to 0 in the previous solution you are carrying out here in the leave region. Hope this particular solution is uh, clear to you all. So, in a real life example also if you want you can always see, see sim what exactly is happening in the lock is suppose in your institute or in your college you have an auditorium which is used by one particular department. Let us take computer science department. If they want to use the auditorium, auditorium is a shared resource. It can be used by anybody in the college. So, any department has got the right to use the auditorium. It is a shared resource. What will happen is this auditorium when computer science department faculty wants to make use of it, some indication it has to give to the other departments that it is making use of this auditorium. So, let us take like in this manner. If log equal to 0, okay, that means the auditorium is free. If log equals to 1, the auditorium is occupied. Now, when they try to use the auditorium, at the entrance of the auditorium, they write it as occupied. Occupied is which one? log equal to 1. Then once they become free from this particular auditorium, then they change the value for the log equal to 0. That means here they write vacant. Okay. So, log is having two variable values 0 and 1. 0 indicates vacant and 1 indicates what? Occupied. Basically, no other department should try entering into the auditorium at the same time. So, hope this session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.